Hello and welcome. This is the walkthrough for St. Paul Electrical Station at St. Paul Island. And I'm just walking away from one of the collectibles, the uh, graffiti. And we're trying to get inside. Oh, on the side you have that steel construct and you can climb up here to get onto the roof. Doesn't seem to work from this side. Let's try the other side. Yep, works better. I'm trapped. Oh, up here, someone's crying or shouting around. Just ignore that for now. I'm sorry. And off we go inside. Multifunction generators, yeah, we need to do that with generator one. So there's basically nothing on the top floors. Where we start is the base floors. So there, there's things to scavenge now and then, but basically we start here. This is the main area. We have generator one, the red one, the unpowered one here. And right below underwater is generator one, the green one, the powered one. We also have two unpowered gates, gate A and gate B. So first, we dive down and we power gate A so we can go through. <laughs> Weird noises. All right, here it is. Take the cable from generator one. Climb up here. You have to keep it as short as possible. Connect it to A. And now you can open the gate. There are three gate A's in total. You only need to open this one to solve the whole electric riddle. Uh, there's one above it and one below it underwater. There's not many collectibles in here. I'm just going to open the gates. And then I'm going to see you again in the water. There's the gate. As I said, you don't really have to do those. You don't have to open those, but, but it's critical to get to, to the stuff that you want to collect. So now we do the same for gate B. You can either detach it from gate A or go again and connect it through the generator. Same again, keep the distance as short as possible. It may be that the cable is not enough. So I don't know why I did this. I tried to connect the generator one first, but of course I need to open the gate B first. So I took it off again and uh, let's go. Shortest distance to gate B. There's an inhibitor in here, in the B area, underwater. But well, we're going to get to it in a bit. Open the gates. Same as at the other side. There's one gate at the top, one at the bottom. Uh, but you don't have to do that again. Since both generators, the red ones, are on this level. <sighs> Now I'm going to open this one anyway, and then I'm going to go to the inhibitor, which is right there. Swimming mechanics are a bit weird. I, I really don't like it. You sink to the ground. You constantly sink to the ground. Of course, it's natural to do that, but still, it's it's so annoying. So. Back up, catch some breath. <sighs> Only one! Oh, lame. So, back to one. Now you can connect one to one. And then we tick that box. You don't need that one anymore. <sighs> there. Yes, two to go. I'm gonna do generator three first. 
I didn't realize it's it's the most complicated one, but well, then it's finished, right? So let's do the three first, which is behind gate B. And we go downstairs, down the stairs, and there is a passage that we can follow. So basically, straight ahead, when you come down the stairs, there's a door, an open door you can th swim through. There. And again downstairs. Yeah, there's nothing here. Just water. Follow the yellow cables. Well, that's basically the principle. Follow the yellow cables. People were in a rush to deconnect everything when they left the station. And that's what you need to do. Uh, you, in that room with the gate, with the gate C, just dive through. There's another, another door on the other side. And you can dive up. And here's a room where you can breathe. With generator C. Alright, generator C is going to open those gate C's. nothing here so we're gonna connect that generator now yeah the shortest distance is possible dive down follow the cables there's another gate to open later Follow the cables, and there it is. Generator C. Now, if you follow that gate, if you open that gate, you can dive up and you can breathe here at the ceiling. And right below us is generator. Three, that one. <sighs> I'm not going to dive down. I'm going to stay with generator three. I just went back to catch some breath and came back here. The generator three is. <sighs> now I'm going to follow the cable, and here is a passage that leads to the main area. And that's the short way to connect generator three with generator three. There it is. Just gonna catch some breath. <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> nearly drowning. Yeah, it sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. Well, here it does. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna swim back and have a look. Yeah, that's the main area. That's where we need to go, and we're finished. So now I'm going to go grab that cable. Yep, that's the shortest passage, or shortest way as possible. Back up to gate B. <sighs> so, did that one. Another one to go. We go over to gate A. Gate A is a bit easier. Um, basically tells you where to go. Well, with this one as well, you always have to follow the yellow cable, but gate A is really with arrows and whatnot. So there's the generator. Follow the cables down again into a long <sighs> corridor. This way. There are a couple of bodies here. I found them quite distracting. I was I was always scared they're gonna jump on me or look now, follow the yellow arrow. See that? Yep. 
go down. Yeah, see you are. Seriously, I was so distracted. <laughs> oh dear. So follow the yellow cable here to the right. And straight, or, straight ahead, there's a gate to open again, which leads to the main area. Exactly. Just gonna swim through to catch my breath. <sighs> and back again. <gasps> and as you swim back, you're gonna see generator 2. And you think, oh cool, now connect. No. No, no, the cable wouldn't, wouldn't work. It's too short. So you have to open this gate now on the same level. That's actually quite tricky. That's quite clever. So now you can go back after some breath. And connect the generators. And then we have all three. All you have to do afterwards is to take the elevator to the control room, switch it on, and select your faction. That's all for me. And I say thanks for watching and bye-bye. Thank you.